Well, it's the end of the road for a historic movie theater in New Jersey. The Warner Theater in Ridgewood is closing its doors after 92 years. But there is hope that the building can be reimagined. Fox 5's Teresa Priolo shows us what might be in store moving forward. East Ridgewood Avenue will look different in the coming months without the historic Warner Theater lighting the way. It's a big loss for Ridgewood. Miriam Ibrahim manages the candy shop up the block. For years, they worked hand in glove with the theater. That's just the kind of place Warner was, intricately woven into the fabric of this community. Even a lot of people that don't live in Ridgewood come to this movie theater because it's quieter. Warner Theater has been around for 92 years. This is the place Ridgewood residents have chosen to see the newest release or their favorite flick, entertain their toddler on a family day, or perhaps have their first date with the cute boy or girl in town. But it all started in 1932. I thought I told you not to come here anymore. The opening film, The Dark Horse, with Betty Davis. In 1978, they expanded to two screens. In 84, they increased to four. In 2013, Bowtie Partners bought them, and everybody had hopes for another century in business. But then the pandemic hit. If your business was so-so, it put you out. It's hard to imagine Ridgewood without the theater in the center of town. So many shops rely on it for a steady stream of customers. But Bowtie says it's no longer viable in this location. They go there with the kids every Saturday morning. You'll see carloads of women or men here. And the kids just pile out of the car like a little clown car. <laughs> they just go and they go to the theater. As for what's going to happen to the building, Bowtie Cinema says that they do plan on staying a part of the downtown Ridgewood community. And there is talk that this new building could now be used as a multi use performing arts venue. That's the latest from Ridgewood tonight. Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.